Hey you guys, um, it's Editing Melanie here. This video is pre-recorded. I haven't been able to upload it because I filmed it back in like March. I'll have the timestamp on it, but I wanted to give you guys a heads up. If you guys watch my videos pretty often, a lot of changes have happened since I filmed this video. I just hadn't got it uploaded yet, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Also, editing it back, it's so hilarious, you guys, because with Sweater Boy, I'm like, it's all his fault. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm one to talk. I keep meeting guys at the gym. <laughs> It's kind of funny. Anyways, enjoy this past life update, but it still was a life update at the time, and I want to upload it. I love red lobsters. So let's get into it. We actually have a red lobster mukbang. I am really excited. I've wanted to do this mukbang for a long time. Yay! So we have red lobster and another one. Woo! Figured to give you all an actual life update of how things are going in my life. Let's be real. Um, and then eat red lobster too. Break it open. Their bread is the best. I like the cold butter better, but this is still pretty good. You guys, this is just the best to get ever. So excited. I haven't had one of these in a bit. Mmm. I have this new series on my channel. I've uploaded episode one. Kind of like my closure to College Crush. I don't know if I've like actually addressed it, but I've been over College Crush now for some time. <laughs> okay, let's open this. Ooh. Mm-hmm. We love the pizza. I actually brought salt from home though because I love to just add a little extra. But yeah, it's been a long time. I mean, I kind of did a video opening up of like, you know, overthinking a lot. And with him, I had overthought a lot. I just never really shared about that until that video. And things were just not meant to be. Mm. Um, episode two is coming soon and that'll be my closure with Sweater Boy. <laughs> I've been over him, but it was a little bit more healing. It's hard. Mm-hmm, this is good. Pizza with like lobster. Mmm, a little bit of greens, I love. But anyways, am I gonna get a new gym membership? I don't know. Um, actually this is kind of like where I'm at with the gym. Thankfully my dad's place has a fitness center. All I really do right now is treadmill, honestly. I've just been going there in the evening and nobody honestly works out at night there. So it's really nice. Like I don't feel like this pressure. When there's other people, I feel like a pressure. Like at the gym, and that's what I always like struggled in the past. Granted I've came a long ways with my gym. It's hard seeing Sweater Boy. Like I really struggle with it. I've been slacking off at the gym because I don't want to run into him. The worst part is like none of this is like my fault. <laughs> I didn't do this to myself. I avoided at all costs meeting a guy at my gym. <laughs> like he got my number. He called it off with me. I mean, I hate to be all like it's his fault, but I've kind of been saying that to myself and that he ruined everything because that's how I'm healing with it, honestly. I wasn't like searching for anything. And then he comes in my life and tries to ruin everything for me. I don't know. It's hard. I like working out in the evenings better. Sometimes it's working. There's also another situation. I'm gonna talk about it because I declined the offer. Jim actually wanted me to work for them, which at first I thought it was so cool. It's such an amazing opportunity. One of the, like, the workers knew me because of Sweater Boy and wanted me to like apply. I kind of just did it as a joke, honestly, because I was like, I'm not gonna get hired. And then I was actually gonna get hired, but I did decline. I will say like school is really taking priority right now, and I thought I could make it work, but I just want to make sure I focus on school and get school done, honestly. I know Sweater Boy and I weren't like in a relationship, but we still went on a few dates well four dates to be exact but it would be really really awkward to like work with him and run into him more often than i want to that's why i'm like he ruined everything <laughs> It's always for another time and on to better things. I just like upgraded my membership in January. In January and February, I had like big payments. I really shouldn't afford to leave this gym. Plus I wanted the benefits, which is why I upgraded. And I told Sweater Boy that I did make that really clear because we had our like better closure talk last month because we broke up two months ago from the dates. But him and I never like talked again. I don't know how he would have felt with me working there, but honestly, if I was in his shoes, I wouldn't be too thrilled and I would understand. It just sucks how everything played out, but it's weird because at the same time, like if it wasn't for him, I would have never had a chance <laughs> to work at my gym. Like I have to give him credit as much as I don't want to. <laughs> there was nobody at my gym. Nobody knew me. I would barely go. If I did, I wouldn't say anything unless if they said, hey, I never was searching to date someone at my gym. It was just a weird thing that happened and didn't work out. And I'm still just kind of healing from it, honestly. And then I dropped off a resume to a coffee shop that I really, really love, but they're not really hiring until summer. So I don't know if that means like they're not hiring period or like hopefully maybe until summer, which I feel like would help me with business. And I feel like the gym would have helped me with business too, but gym is just not the right time. I was like telling my friend as well, like, I want to rip off the sweater boy's head right now. Not literally, but I'd be open to it at a later time to have like peace and time goes by and heals the wound. Maybe I'm dating someone, maybe I'm not, but maybe like sometime next year. Because I told them I'd be open to reapplying, but I just like couldn't because of school. Because school is still like true. And I really want to graduate next year, so school needs to be priority. That's where I'm at. <laughs> we have more things to try, but that's how I feel. So yeah, sweater boy episode's coming up next. Yeah, that'll be interesting. It's kind of gonna be like how I feel going to the gym. So either tonight or tomorrow, whenever I feel up to it, 
I'm gonna go to the gym and vent out my feelings with a punching bag. I don't know. We'll see in the video. Speaking of school, school's coming back up. I'm excited, kinda. I don't know. I'm just ready to be done. This next thing is like a traveling beanie. I like it with this lemon lime. Yes, this is a brand new one. We're gonna squirt some on. It's, it's really good. It adds more flavor. Honestly, Red Lobster's leftovers are really, really good. I'm picky with seafood, but I like this a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm excited with college with a fresh new start. It'll be good. Just have a lot to figure out with my remaining classes that, you know, I want to finish. Just trying to figure out the timeline. But I'm excited because I'm officially taking college grad photos this summer because I plan on graduating next summer. I wanted to do it like a summer in advance. I already talked with someone that one of my friends recommended to me. So I'm excited. Tonight I'm actually going to go to a carnival with my family. Ever since like someone that passed away in our family, we've actually tried to like do more things as a family. So it's nice during this hard time that myself and my family is like all going through. It's kind of personal to talk about, but I'll just say real brief. The reason why my family was babysitting the puppy is because extended family was in town because of this person in the family that passed away. And the family member that passed away had a dog and that person's significant other had another dog and then the dogs had babies. The extended family adopted the puppy and we were leaving town the next day. We offered to watch the puppy overnight and she was just so precious. I uh, loved her so much. That's kind of all I'll talk about on that, but it was so much fun. She gave me so much serotonin. Puppies are so adorable. Oh my gosh, this food. <laughs> you know, I want like conversations to be like different on the channel. I don't know how or what, whether if it's me opening up slowly or different topics, I'm trying to like figure it out. Cause I'm more than like talking about boys stuff. Dating is just kind of what's like going on in my life right now. Date a lot of really bad guys. Oh, I do have a story time, not a date, but oh my gosh, you guys, sorry, I gotta talk about this, but a guy slid in my DM that's like engaged. So uncool. What a total tool, honestly. I called him out on it and then he didn't message me back. I'm like, that's what I thought. Don't ever do that. He was like, do you have a boyfriend? I was like, no, but you are taking LMAO. No response. I'm like, cause I called you out on your BS. You guys think girls are dumb? Like we stalk socials for a reason. <laughs> this guy went to middle school with me. We never talked. It was just a thing where like back in middle school when you added everyone, he was just there still. We never talked. He was cute in middle school, I'll be honest, but like that doesn't mean anything, honestly. I don't know if I've talked about this or not on YouTube. I feel like I once have, but I don't know. But it really isn't about like the looks, it's really about the personality. Like I understand, like I still gotta be attracted to someone, but I really have to be attracted to their personality more and then looks be like a bonus. Obviously I still like wanna be into someone that like is so cute, but like the personality is like really important. But that guy was just slimy. And then also he was like too forward and then not to mention disrespectful to his fiance. I wanna DM her, but eh, I'm a believer in like, she'll find out, right? Cause he's doing it to all the girls. I mean like us as women, we know if something is like up, you know? I guess you don't always know, but you can have like that intuition feeling, I feel like. And I don't personally like drama, so I feel like I shouldn't. But I guess it's hard cause like I was in her position, maybe I would want to know. Like it's okay if you stay with the guy, but it's like at least no. I don't know, but I don't think I'm gonna do it. I just hope she finds out. Cause I'm all for like us women supporting other women. It's not cool when like guys are flirts to other girls when they're supposed to be loyal to who they're with. So I didn't like that. And then after Sweater Boy 2, a ton of guys like slid in my DM that just like weren't cool. <laughs> I'm just like really picky. I don't like the whole like slide in the DM dating culture. Like if I like someone, I like someone. And it's really because of the personality, but obviously I have to be attracted to as well. But I like guys that like are flirty in a respectful and play it cool kind of way. Like kind of how like honestly Sweater Boy flirted with me. That's what I want the next guy to be like. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. So enough about guys. Boys suck. <laughs> but yeah, I want to talk about like other topics on the channel. I hope like the next time on a real note, like with dating that I find my husband. I'm tired of the dating culture. I don't like it. I'm tired of being on the market. That's just like how I feel. Family thinks like, no, you don't have to marry too young. But like, I want to kind of, I don't know. But I like being single too. It's hard to say what I want right now. You gotta be happy of like the season of life you're in. Maybe next year when I'm done with school, my reward after I get a place, hopefully, will be a puppy. <laughs> I love puppies. I want a kitten again too. They're so precious. This is the chocolate cake dessert. We're gonna try it. See what we think of it. Mmm. Let's go ahead and try it with some chocolate sauce though. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Let's try the other one before I get full. I'm already feeling it. Then we have the vanilla bean, you guys. This one's like a favorite for me. It's just like really good. Mm -hmm. I know Cheesecake Factory has vanilla bean, but I've never tried it. <laughs> I really like the Oreo cheesecake there though. <laughs> and I'm also not close to Cheesecake Factory, so it's not often to film. We also have some raspberry sauce and try it. I'm full now. Oh my god. I hope you guys really did enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye Mills Nation. I love you all so much. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching me. Love you guys. Mwah. See you next time.